The judge has released this map showing exactly where the media can and cannot set up and do interviews before and after the hearings. And it's expected to be like that during the trial, too. I want to bring in Richard Block. He's a criminal defense attorney based in Idaho. So he knows how things usually work in Idaho. Does this at all seem draconian? I mean, it's, it's not the way we usually cover trials. What are, what are your thoughts? Most of this seems pretty normal. No cell phones. Uh, reserve seating for court personnel, attorneys, attorney staff, those kinds of things. That's normal in just about every courtroom. Usually that front row, that's the lawyers, that's police officers, that's that kind of stuff up there. Um, uh, most of this stuff is typical stuff. It's decorum stuff. Yeah, you can't be on your cell phone. Yeah, you can't be emailing and doing your homework while you're in court or that kind of stuff. Frankly, that the judges are allowing Bishop laptops reduced. I, ha I have to interrupt you there because I've been in so many courtrooms around the state. I don't know what's going on in Idaho. I have always been allowed to put out a real-time update when I had my BlackBerry and when I have my iPhone. I'm able to say, just just rendered their verdict guilty. Um, but there's no internet. There's no real-time communication at all. And you can't leave all day, which means the public's going to be in the dark for the whole day. And reporters aren't going to be allowed to do things in real time. That isn't normal. Is it normal in Idaho? No, I think it's normal for people not to be able to use cell phones and the internet in courtrooms everywhere I've been. Every single courtroom I've ever been in. Now, I'm typically not in these big uh, media-driven trials uh, like this, but I Maybe think that's, that's pretty it. normal stuff. Yeah, I mean, I might, I must have put out 2,000 tweets during Casey Anthony, um, and, it, you know, that, that was just a, a regular communication. I, and I remember only um, in California, Conrad Murray, the Michael Jackson propofol doctor, that, that judge said you can't have your, um, you, can't, you can't live broadcast any tweets or, or, um, or texts. But it was very unusual. But that is what happens when you have these massive cases with such a public interest. So I'm surprised that it's this this strict. I do want to ask you about a sequestered jury, though. Do you think that this jury is going to have to be like blocking off six weeks of possibly their summer and be in a hotel room to, to try this? What's it like in Idaho when it comes to high profile and sequestering juries? You know, we just had the Vallow case not that long ago here in Idaho, and that jury wasn't sequestered. Those folks were allowed to go home, take care of their families. Uh, as I remember, getting out at 3 or 3.30 every day. Um, I don't know that that's something that we're going to see here in this case. Uh, my guess is that the judge is going to have a lot of concern for the jurors and their uh, obligations outside of court. And how do you think that'll go over? I have 10 seconds left, but, I mean, finding jurors who can be in a hotel room for six weeks, how do you think that's going to go over? It's hard for finding anybody who can do this for six weeks. And frankly, what happens is the judge makes them do it and they suffer through it. So they don't even know about it um, when they're going under their, their voir dire. Uh, that's, that's rough. Wow. Uh, Richard Block, I'm out of time, but I got to have you back. Uh, you always are the best arbiter of everything when it comes to Idaho justice. Thank you for this. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.